Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lee Marie from Nicomas Home Fragrance. First, I wanna start this video off by just giving you a life update. Um, so I'm sorry I haven't been actively making videos, but first I had, that noise is my daughter. Uh, Nicomas is here in the studio. Uh, so you'll probably be hearing her throughout the video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I had my grand opening in July, which was amazing. And then I actually had to hunker down and do a ton of candles for my retailers for the um, fall and winter launches. So I finally got those done. Then I was gonna get ready to start making videos, but Hurricane Ian happened and I am actually in Fort Myers. So we got hit pretty hard. Thankfully, my shop is still standing and uh, my home just needs minimal repair. So we're lucky there. Um, but yeah, so life kind of happened and I'm trying to get back on track, but I wanted to do this video because I know a lot of candle makers out there want to start doing candle classes. And that's what I'm going to be doing today is, um, normally I have the candle classes here in my studio, but this one, I partnered with a boutique in Naples, Florida, and we're going to be doing the candle class in their boutique. I'm super excited for this. It's sold out very quickly as actually all my candle classes have. So if you thought about doing a candle class, it's a great way of doing um, something extra, like extra income. It also gives people an insight onto how the candles are made. And then it's also a really good idea um, just to kind of get your name out there. And like I said, if you don't have a studio, you can do what I did and you can partner with a business that has a space so you can go to them. So I'll be showing you today what I'm going to be doing, um, all the supplies that I'm taking with me and how the class is going to run. Okay, so let's talk supplies. The first thing obviously is your vessel. I'm doing these really fun wooden bowls. They're about nine or 10 ounces. Um, and I got these wholesale online. Um, she likes these bowls a lot. <laughs> So I got these bowls online. Um, they're, like I said, about nine ounces and they're gonna be a two wick um, candle. And um, so this is the vessel that we're using for tonight for the class. And then I have this pouring pitcher and then this stirring spoon. Um, so this is how they're going to stir in the fragrance into their wax. And then I'm also bringing with me some of these really cool scales so that they can weigh out um, their own fragrances, whichever fragrance they choose. I'm bringing these little bowls because these are actually really cute where you can put all of the decorations in them. So they're gonna have, <laughs> they're gonna have a couple different um, options for decorations that they can put on top of their candle. And I did just wanna talk real quick about that. A lot of people are apprehensive to putting stuff on top of their candles and I totally get it. I think it's okay as long as you make sure to convey how dangerous it is to light it with those decorations on the candle. Um, you want to make sure that you are letting them know that they need to remove the decorations before they light it. Put it on your warning label, put a sticker on it. And then I also, for all my candle classes, I have them sign a liability waiver. Just basically stating that they're not going to hold me liable for a product that they're making themselves. And I do emphasize on there to take off whatever dec decoration is on the candle before they light it. That's super important. But as long as, like I said, you reiterate that over and over and over again, and you've got it documented, then I think you're perfectly fine, you know, putting these fun little accents on candles. You just have to make sure they know to not burn them with the accents on. So that being said, for the fun decorations, we have these, which are like, I'll take one out. They're like these little tiny pine cones. They're super, super cute. I also have, these are actually not little mini pumpkins. They're like these little pods. Um, and they're really, really cute, but they look like little pumpkins. So since this is a fall class, it makes sense. I also have some dried fruit that can go on there. And I've got some cinnamon sticks. So again, I reiterate to everybody that you know, these items are flammable. Um, 
I also have some pretty florals that they can put on there. But again, just reiterate to your, you know, your customers that putting anything on a candle that's flammable is a hazard. So they can do it for decorative purposes, but they just need to make sure to remove it before they light the candle. So next, let's move on to fragrance. Um, I like to give them a lot of options. So I do anything, I think anywhere from six to eight fragrances is a good mixture. So, you know, I've got like peppermint, the Christmas tree smell, cinnamon, an apple cinnamon, a pumpkin. Um, and I put them in these like really nice little, these are eight ounce. I got these on Amazon, these little bottles. And they, <laughs> oh, she's gonna be doing this all video. If you have a child and you take them to work with you and you have to deal with this, please drop a comment below and let me know that I'm not alone. Um, I love her to pieces, but sometimes it's hard to get work done with her here. <laughs> um, but I got these bottles on Amazon and they're um, a squeeze bottle and then they have this really nice twist top so they can just twist it and then pour the fragrance in. It's really nice and mess free. So I'll leave the link down for these um, below in the comments. And then of course I take my handy dandy tools. So this is what I use to trim the wicks and I also trim them with this just to make sure that the wicks are nice and short when they take their candle home. Again, safety first. And then of course you have to bring your wicks with you. Wick stickers, wick clips, and naturally it is still technically a candle by your company. So I do include my warning label on the bottom. Again, it's just reassurance to let them know how to safely use this candle. Another thing that I bring along with me is aprons. Now this is totally optional, you don't have to do this, but these were actually quite inexpensive um, and I got them on Amazon. So these are a great option for you um, if you want it to really feel like a fun class. They don't necessarily, you know, you're not gonna get dirty or anything, but it's just nice to have in case they spill a little fragrance or they might spill a little bit of wax or something just to make sure that they're covered. Okay, so I'm being one of those people and I'm having food in my car um, just because I really wanna just eat really fast and then go um, get set up for this candle class. Um, but I did get this really yummy salad, so I'm super excited for it. Um, yeah, so I'm at Whole Foods, and which is right across the street from this boutique, and it was just nice seeing all my candles there. I currently have three collections with Whole Foods right now. They have my signature collection, they have my fall candles, um, and they also have my Christmas candles my holiday candles. So I'm super excited. It's always nice to walk into Whole Foods and see my candles. I absolutely love it. But I'm gonna have um, my salad and then we will take you over to the boutique for the setup. So this is the setup that we did for the table and we got a lot of compliments on it. So remember when you're doing um, these kinds of setups, whether they're your studio or somebody else's, that what it looks like and the aesthetic really matters. In case anyone is wondering, this class was $45 and it sold out in less than one week.
Everyone had so much fun at this class and the boutique owner was so happy with it that we've actually already booked a second class. So again, this is a great way of making extra income.